Hey guys, welcome to Season 2, Episode 6 of Criminal Minds. Here we go. Last time you sent me home, Hunt, you got me shot. You've made a lot of women very happy. I didn't let you walk. Thank you. That looks like the guy from Season 1, honestly. I meant to say that, but... As your supervising agent, I ordered a psychological status report. After the bureaus cleared me? I need a shrink, Hutch. It's up to me to make that assessment. You think I'm lying? I'm fine. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> Clearly not. You're on edge. Jeez. Take her off, like, every case from here on out. And she's so, she's got an attitude. She's got a massive attitude. Six. Something coming at me. Kept looking behind me to see what it was. But whatever it was just kept chasing him. And then he ran to this old man. He watches us all the time. Just watches us from the big old house on the hill. Oh god. The one that's. Nicholas Bay of Arizona, Texas, was beaten to death roughly 13 hours ago. Blunt force trauma to the head. Miss Hunt and children. Great. Moment, sir. What's up? Agent Greenaway never showed for her evaluation last night. Oh, time. good God! You're kidding. Play-Doh Rose. We can easily forgive a child who's afraid of the dark. Thank good. The real tragedy of life is when men are afraid of the light. Most serial killers prey upon specific types to carry out their fantasies of revenge. Bundy killed women that looked like an ex-girlfriend who guilted him. Dahmer claimed that schoolyard harassment fed into his fury. The woods were the only thing I was afraid of when I was a kid. Seriously? Thought you grew up in a small town? Yeah, surrounded by woods. <laughs> uh, bummer for you. Yeah. The only thing I was afraid of was the dark. Some of us still are. When we land, Morgan and Reed go to the new crime scene. <laughs> Why are you killing side. kids? Murder I don't. Right here. What? Autopsy report indicates no signs of a struggle. He had to know he wasn't going to be interrupted, but how? Huh? How could he be so sure? The forest goes for miles and miles. Nobody goes walking in it. So they're looking to kill. Right. In which case you know every inch of these woods, right? Yeah. Every trail? Yep. The red one that I put on him. He had it on when he left. I'm sorry, this is very bad. Mandatory curfew at 5 p.m. I'd be freaking yes. searching the streets for this guy. Make sure you know where your children are. Oh, no, it's just a land. Now, come on. It'll be fun. Not if he catches me. Come on. It'll be easy. Just ring and run. We'll be right here. Yeah. I wonder if this Go. is actually the guy or... Go. If it's just some interesting ghost story. to this on as he do not do a lot of work. Excuse me. Chief, you're gonna wanna hear this. My son Matthew never came home today. Here we go. What was the last thing? Is it about your brother? Honey, is that true? Are you hiding something? Hides him, skins him, eats him, standard. Folks have been telling that story since I was a kid. But why haven't we heard about this? Fables are often sparked by out of truth. We can exhaust every possibility. What's going on? Al, I'm listening. I am nervous. I really wanted to be a part of the team. <coughs> but when I needed the team, just like those women in Ohio who were attacked had a right to feel safe in their homes. 
So does that justify taking the law into your own hands? Mm-hmm. What makes you say that I have? Because you're here confessing your sins. Oof, oof, oof! Well, I don't have any evidence, and you know how quickly I'd arrest you if I did. I I knocked down that freaking door at that house. Well, I mean, you and Joe stack the front. We now cover the outbuildings. So no one lives here, or someone lives here. Lovely. No power. Trucker. Son of a mm. FBI don't move. Okay. You mind you? Yes. Oh, thank You're God. Mm. Only the Finnegan's house on the hill is like the Bates Motel of Ozona, Texas. You know, we heard the legend. Great, seriously, people that go into that house That's him. never come out. But then there is that matter of his missing wife. Wife? What wife? When, when did you go missing? Almost 50 years ago. What? No record of her being found? I got two words for you, my friend. Rear window. That guy probably chopped that lady up into delicious bite-sized little pieces. Kind of sexy. Huh. I want to go. You're having creepy fun. I wish I was there. That's freaky. <laughs> you really are afraid of the dark. I'm working on that. <laughs> I'm working on that. My deputy got the boy home safe. Sir Peterson, right? I guess Finnegan brought the kids back here first before baiting them into the woods. But why wouldn't he get rid of the evidence? Considers them trophies. So it is this. When this is all said and done, I'd like to hang his head on my wall. Gladly. <coughs> Pull his eyes open. With tape, use it as darts. <laughs> use his face as a dart port. <laughs> Good. I got some disturbed Here, things for up. some okay, evil boy. people. He's home. What about old man Finnegan? <laughs> Is that him? <laughs> Someone killed him. His heart probably gave out while he was setting this. Yeah, Carmen's a bitch. These coyotes were not on him for a week. Before oh, the second or third murder shit. Day. This area's off the traveled path. It's a wonder anyone discovered him at all. Is it? If a tree falls in the forest, does it make a sound if there's nobody there to hear it? What the hell are you reading over there? Just thinking. What? He hasn't found Finnegan's corpse in a lightly traveled part of the woods and no one else What the hell is that it's supposed to mean? So he was able to Does it make a sound if no one's there to Actually, hear? Actually, referring to Finnegan's wife. What are you talking about? Yes. Because it, he writes about it, it would still make a sound, How right? How would you look out the window on a daily basis? An open bowls of cream spinach thrown into the trash. Each one wrapped with duct tape. One with each tray. So we're looking for a guy who really, really hates spinach. <laughs> Ritualized, meticulous, organized. Watch. It's about L, isn't it? Oh. I don't know. Let's classify. Yeah, doctor in Ohio. Oh, oh, before. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay, that makes sense. I thought he was talking about hmm? with the guy she shot. You fear. Walked up to his bed and he was just lying there underneath his covers. Dead. Someone stabbed him. <laughs> I ran out of there. So what? Out the door down the hall. I just I remember it. They caught the caretaker on his way out of town. I guess he still had the knife on him. What the fuck? Anyway, I guess that's probably when I decided I didn't like the woods. Shit. You're serious? I don't blame you. That's... No. Oh, fuck. No, I felt that. <laughs> <laughs> no. I don't know why I'm afraid of the woods. I just, I am. Why is he still afraid of the dark? Yeah, Reed, why are you still afraid of the dark? Because of the inherent absence of light. Um, <laughs> I love them. These three? I could, I could hang out with these three. Four? For freaking ever. You guess I'm good for me? Okay, but which one of the victims?
Why don't you coordinate with the Ozona coroner's office for a match? Oh, baby. That's so yesterday. I already have the minions working on it. In the meantime, your intrepid hacker found you a match to the other set in the database. His name is James Charles. He's a local guidance counselor. Yeah, no! A guidance counselor helping us on this case. Way. His address is 3725 Briarwood Road. I know exactly how to find him, Garcia. Thanks. Call Gideon. We just found our own stuff. No freaking way. His wife walked out on him and his kid. They were just kissing. Why would he, so he just starts killing kids now? Damn, I did not expect that one, honestly. Spear! Holy shit! That was a hard hit! Give me this. Oh! What's this? What's so important about the hat? Nicholas Fay was wearing it when he was murdered. Damn! He... That was a tackle. That was a football tackle. That was Ray Lewis-like. Here's the deal. That's true. He started working at the food bank after his wife left. Fingerprints are in all we have. What about the hat? The hat is suspicious as hell. And he ran. Doing, Nicholas Fay? Why'd you run? She started feeling a little uninspired. Hey, you're not a minute man, are you? Oh, that's what it is. You're done before she even gets started. She left you for another man. That's what you oh, okay. James, that was exciting. Did I hit a nerve? <laughs> Oh, you want to go home? Yeah. Well, I'm sorry, that ain't about to happen, so why don't you come over here and sit your ass down? I said sit down! Now, Ooh. I'm talking to you. I will tell you what you are done doing, you hear me? You know, it's bad enough his mother left now his father's in custody and I'm gonna take the poor kid into child services. It's the law. And it says jaywalking, I don't like it. <laughs> Are you really that weak? You gotta blame your own kid for your failed marriage? Shut up! You talk to me! Because I need to understand this. You never had any to begin with. That's right, keep it coming. Keep it coming. I am so far from finished with you, you son of a bitch. I will go all night. You understand me? <laughs> you make me sick! Damn. Damn. So it's not him that has the dairy, or it, he likes milk. Right, is that how long have you known? When it's sealed off. No what? In the epipen. So that means murder. What are you talking about? Your son's a them. the one who brought the food trays, the Finnegans, but it's his son. Your son ate them. So much so, he wrapped the only dairy product with duct tape so he wouldn't accidentally eat it. He taught him all to protect himself. That's my cat. So at this point... What?! It was in my son's drawer. We have a little freaking tiny psycho killer. What do you do with the kid? What do you do? Literally, the kid's a psychopath. He kills kids. 
He kills people. What do you do? You're walking too slow. This book bag is heavy. Is that? Fire. Why did you do that? Shut up. Keep walking. I don't feel it. I told you to shut up. Oh. After his mom left, Jeffrey probably resented the fact that his dad spends more time at work than other kids done with his own. Took out that rage on any kid he viewed as having what he didn't. So that is him. Mom said the bus would have dropped her off here after school. She was supposed to walk home with the neighbor. The little psycho kid is freaking. Where were you taking her? Such heavy patrolling in this town. How do you manage to take a little girl with that being? It's seen? freaking Ian from Shameless. Nobody's gonna think anything of two kids walking together. The buddies. I thought he looked familiar. In the process of educating the public, we educated a kid. When it's off season from baseball, where would a twelve-year-old kid hang out? That's Ian fucking Gallagher. Let's go. That's also Cal Kestis. Crazy. So this is what Ian Gallagher was doing as a as a little child. Tracy Bell, if you got around these woods, split up. What do you do though? You put the kid away for like freaking 50 years? Like how how do you what do you do to this this kid? He's eight, right? Damn! You pull your gun out? change a thing. Even though you killed someone? I couldn't figure out why you never ever smile. Now I think I'm actually gonna miss that. What? She's just gone? That took a massive turn. Massive turn. Wow. I am just like... Damn. I... I don't know what to say. <laughs> she just, she's just gone. She's done. She's out. Wow. Um... So, this kid's probably gonna go into psychiatric evaluation. Wow. That's what I just read. That's interesting. That episode was wild. A kid just brutally murdering multiple other kids. Like, uh, I'm at loss of words. Like the video, comment down below, subscribe if you have not already. On to the next. See you next time.